Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, we are going to take one of the scenarios that has been asked by one of my subscriber. So the question that has been asked is that as part of the analysis, I stumbled across needing to create customized field for the forms. How do I go about using new customized field in a new form that I am creating? Okay. So, and then they have given a thanks message. So thank you very much for appreciating the work that I'm doing. So let's quickly go ahead and see that how you can create the customized field in Jira work management first thing and then how you can add those customized field into the form that you are using, right? So at the moment, if you see this particular form here, right? So this is the business project, our CV procurement project. And if you go to the form section of the Jira work management, you will see the form, right? In order to create the form, you can drag and drop these fields that are available in the right hand side, right? Now, mostly in the actual scenarios, you will be having different requirements for different clients and you would be having to or, or you would need to use different fields here, right? So how you can customize these fields or add new fields as per the requirement of your clients and then use those fields in your form. Say, for example, there is another field that I want to add here. How can I go about it and then display them here so that I can use it in the form? OK, so let's quickly go ahead and see how it's done. So the first thing is you need to be Jira administrator and this is Jira cloud instance. So you need to be the administrator in order to perform all the things that I'm going to show in this particular tutorial. So if you go to this settings cogwheel, right, if you see the details, I'm getting settings, Jira settings and all, all of the details and then in the personal settings and I'm also the Atlassian admin. So I have access to everything. Now, because this is field, right? So this is one of the fields. So first thing we need to do is we need to add the custom field, okay? So to add the custom field, go to this issue type workflow screen custom fields, right? So go to this section here. And here, if we go to the field section, right? So let's go ahead and quickly add the custom fields. So in the custom fields, as you click on that, if you have the administrator access, you will see this create custom field. OK, so let me create a custom field. And now, say, for example, I want to create a checkbox and use it in the form. OK, so these are some of the custom fields that you can. These are the type of the custom field that you can add and use. OK, now single select list or checkboxes, date picker, date time picker, uh, radio buttons, all of that. Right. So say, for example, let's go ahead. I want to add a radio button. OK, on the form as well. So I'll choose radio button, click on next and I'll say are you happy with course? Okay, just I'll give the name, copy and paste the same description there. And I will say the options there. So yes and no. Okay, so two radio button, two radio buttons basically. So a customer can choose yes or no when they take the course. And then I'll create this radio button. So this is the name of the field, right? Now this is the field name. Okay. Now, ideally, the field name, I've just kept it. Are you happy with the course? OK, but you make sure you do not give this descriptive name there. Uh, make sure you give, you know, a, a short name that you can easily remember and see what exactly the field is all about. Now, on this issues, as you create that particular field, right, the custom field, you will see where you want to associate this, which screen or which um, uh, screens this field you want to associate it, right? So first thing is you create the field. Then these fields are displayed on the screens. So you have to associate the field that you create on the screens. So where do you want to associate it? Because we are working on the Jira work management. So I am going to associate these to the procurement project, right? So let's see which fee, which screens are there for the procurement. You will see this is procurement project screen, create issue, edit view, and then so there is a create issue and then edit and view screen, right? So I'll simply say, just check these check boxes to associate the field that I have added here with these issue screen for the procurement project, because this is where I want to associate or add this field in these screens. Okay. Once I have done this, click on update. 
just check the box and then update all right now you will see are you happy with this with the course this field that has been added and it is a radio button right it's a type of radio button and then you will see it is associated with the two screens if you click on the screens you will see this is the screen that we selected right the checkbox and if you see the context so the the custom field has the following context so what is the context so context is create edit or delete context right so it's available on create edit and delete all three options okay so let me go back right so now this field is there okay now let's go back to the procurement project and let's go back to the form and you will see the field will appear on the form all right now if i have to use this field on the form i will simply drag and drop this field wherever i want on the form okay and if i click on preview you will see are you happy with the course you will see this radio button appears that a customer can select on the form okay so it's that easy to add a custom field into your jira instance this is jira cloud instance so whatever i have shown is for the jira cloud instance how you can go ahead and navigate to the proper section to add the custom field then wherever you want to associate whichever project you want to associate that custom field in the jira work management project you add that to those screens and then it will be available here in the form section when you'll go it will be available so you can directly drag and drop okay so this is the this is another one which i have created custom field and has been added here okay so that's uh, basically all about the addition of the custom field and then basically adding those customized fields into the new form all right so i hope this video will clarify this particular question to one of the uh, subscriber that has asked it uh, and i hope this will help you um, to understand how you are going to do for your project so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching